Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dentistry to the Point. This is Dr. Dhrumil Manik. So in our previous video, we discussed about the heart failure, which was discussed in two parts. I hope you guys have watched the lecture regarding or the video regarding that topic. If you have any queries regarding that topic or any other topic, please write down in the comment section. So next topic for our discussion is acute rheumatic fever. Now acute rheumatic fever is also one of the most commonly or I should say the one of the most frequently asked questions regarding university examination. So this question is going to be asked in the form of short note or in the form of a long answer. So please watch the video till the end so that you can get a proper knowledge about this topic and what to write and what to exclude in the examination. So let's start with our topic that is acute rheumatic fever. So acute rheumatic fever is a multi-system disorder that presents with kya hai ye? Multi-system disorder. It is not involved by a single system. There are many other systems which are involved along with this which presents as fever, anorexia, lethargy and joint pain. So the patient with acute rheumatic fever is going to present with fever, anorexia, lethargy and joint pain which will occur after an infection caused by group A streptococci sequel to an infection caused by group A streptococci or after an incidence of an infection caused by group A streptococci so the systems or things or the parts involved in this disease are skin joint subcutaneous tissue heart and nervous system you need to remember five things that is skin joints, subcutaneous tissue, heart and nervous system. So the incidence of acute rheumatic fever, it mainly affects children and young adults. That is the age group between 5 to 15 years. The most common cause of acquired heart disease in children and adolescents. Acute rheumatic fever is considered to be the most common cause of acquired heart disease. This is something which is acquired. So in childhood and adolescence regarding the incidence of this disease it is remains endemic in the parts of Asia, America and South Africa and the cases are less than 100 per 10,000 cases examined. So this was all about the incidence. Next is pathogenesis. Pathogenesis of acute rheumatic fever starts with a infection of group A. Streptococci, group A streptococci, gas, GAS means group A streptococci infection which will lead to antigens of group A streptococci. Jo bhi group A streptococci ke antigens honge, they are going to react with the cardiac myosin and sarcolemal membrane protein. Now this antigens will produce an autoimmune response in the body and antibodies are going to be generated which will cause inflammation in endocardium, myocardium, pericardium and the joints. So this was a short review of the pathogenesis of acute rheumatic fever. Kya hoga? Group A streptococcus ka infection hoga, uska antigens react karenge, jiske wajah se antibodies release hogi aur inflammation cause hoga kaha pe? Endocardium, myocardium, pericardium and Joints. Next, we'll discuss about the clinical features, modified Jones criteria, investigations, and treatment of acute rheumatic fever. So, next, moving on to the discussion of clinical features regarding the acute rheumatic fever. There are five striking features of acute rheumatic fever that is poly pericarditis, polyarthritis subcutaneous nodules, erythema marginatum and the last one is Sydenham's chorea. So first we'll start with pericarditis. Regarding pericarditis, it involves endocardium, myocardium and pericardium. The incidence of pericarditis is quite less or it quite it is quite less in adolescence but the incidence is 90% seen in, in the age group of 3 years. So the, as the age of the patient increases, the incidence of carditis decreases. Just 3 years of age may incidence 90% hai. So adolescence ki age may incidence decreases to 30%. Regarding the pericarditis, the patient may experience dyspnea that is difficulty in breathing, then chest pain. Along with that some murmurs are also heard that is 
वन विच यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर इज कैरिकोम्स मर्मर तो कैरिकोम्स मर्मर क्या रहेगा इट इज एन सॉफ्ट मिड डायस्टोलिक मर्मर क्या रहेगी ये सॉफ्ट मिड डायस्टोलिक मर्मर रहेगी इनमें मिट्रल जो वाल्व रहेंगे उसके लीफलेट्स पे नॉड्यूल्स ग्रो कर जाएंगे दैट विल लीड टू वैल्यूलाइटिस दैट इज इन्फ्लामेशन ऑफ वाल्व विच विल लीड टू अकरेंस ऑफ मर्मर विच इज कॉल्ड एज कैरिकोम्स मर्मर अपार्ट फ्रॉम द कैरिकोम्स मर्मर वी आर नॉट लेफ्ट एनीथिंग रिगार्डिंग द कार्डाइटिस हाँ द पेशेंट विल ऑल्सो एक्सपीरियंस एटिक और मिट्रल रिगर्जिटेशन जो भी एटिक और मिट्रल वाल्व होंगे वो प्रोलैप्स हो जाएंगे और उसमें से रिगर्जिटेशन होने के चांसेस हो सकते हैं दैट इज सीन इन 50% परसेंट ऑफ केसेस बट द चांसेस ऑफ ट्राइकस्पिड एंड पल्नरी रिगर्जिटेशन आर क्वाइट लेस कंपेरिटिवली टू द एटिक एंड मिट्रल रिगर्जिटेशन नेक्स्ट मूविंग ऑन टू द आर्थराइटिस सो रिगार्डिंग आर्थराइटिस वी नीड टू डिस्कस दैट इट इज पॉली आर्थराइटिस मतलब मोर देन वन जॉइंट इज इन्वॉल्व इन इन्फ्लामेशन द जॉइंट्स इन्वॉल्व इन दिस आर द लार्ज जॉइंट्स मेनली क्या है लार्ज जॉइंट्स लाइक एंकल जॉइंट्स नी जॉइंट्स एल्बो एंड रिस्ट जॉइंट्स दीज आर मोस्ट कॉमनली इन्वॉल्व इन पेशेंट विथ एक्यूट रोमेटिक फीवर दिस जॉइंट्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन एन एक्यूट फेज बहुत जल्दी एक के बाद एक जॉइंट इन्वॉल्व हो जाएंगे एंड दिस विल बी एंड इनवॉलेंट्री और अनसिंक्रनाइज मैनर में कभी रेस्ट जॉइंट इन्वॉल्व होगा देन एंकल जॉइंट देन एल्बो जॉइंट सो देर इज नो पर्टिकुलर मैनर रिगार्डिंग द इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ जॉइंट्स नेक्स्ट विल मूव ऑन टू द स्किन लीजन सो रिगार्डिंग द स्किन लीजन वी हैव सब क्यूटेनियस नॉड्यूल्स एंड एरिथिमा मार्जिनेटर सो द सबक्यूटेनियस नॉड्यूल्स आर लाइक स्मॉल नॉड्यूल्स ऑफ पॉइंट फाइव टू टू सेंटीमीटर इन साइज विच मेनली डेवलप एट द ओरिजो एट द पॉइंट ऑफ जॉइंट्स और एट द पॉइंट ऑफ टेंडेंस दीज नॉड्यूल्स आर नॉट कॉजिंग पेन टू द पेशेंट दे आर पेनलेस सो इट्स जस्ट दैट द नॉड्यूल्स डेवलप एंड दीज आर यूज एज अ कन्फर्मेटरी साइन these are not used to diagnose the disease these are used to confirm because they appear very late in the disease process starting ke period mein develop nahi honge ye ye jo subcutaneous nodules hai wo later period mein develop honge so they are used as a confirmatory sign of acute rheumatic fever next is erythema marginatum so regarding erythema marginatum it's that ki iske name mein hi likha hai erythema मार्जिनेटम दैट इज एरिथिमा दैट इज रेड कलर मार्जिन मार्जिनेटम मीन्स मार्जिन सो इसमें क्या होगा अ मैक्यूल रेड कलर मैक्यूल विल बी डेवलप इन विच द सेंट्रल पोर्शन ऑफ द मैक्यूल विल फेड अवे विथ टाइम जैसे जैसे डिजीज प्रोग्रेस आगे होगी वैसे वैसे सेंट्रल पोर्शन ऑफ द मैक्यूल विल फेड अवे एंड ओनली द रेड मार्जिन विल बी लेफ्ट सो दिस लेफ्ट लेफ्ट रेड मार्जिन इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी एरिथिमा marginatum so we call it as erythema marginatum and last is sydenham's chorea sorry i forgot to tell you that erythema marginatum and uh, subcutaneous nodules are not seen in all the cases it is seen in less than 5 to 7% of cases now next we'll move on to sydenham's chorea so sydenham's chorea or we can also call it as saint vitus dance uh, you can add in bracket saint vitus डन सो दिस और साइडन एम्स कोरिया इज अ न्यूरोलॉजिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन मैंने आपको इंट्रोडक्शन में बताया था कि इन विद दिस द नर्वस सिस्टम इज ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व सो द साइडन एम्स कोरिया इज अ न्यूरोलॉजिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन इन विच द पेशेंट विल एक्सपीरियंस एन अनकंट्रोल्ड इनवॉलेंट्री मूवमेंट ऑफ हिज हैंड्स एंड फीट एंड ऑल्सो हिज फेस तो ये जो मूवमेंट्स रहेगी वो अनकंट्रोल्ड रहेगी पेशेंट विल नॉट एबल टू कंट्रोल हिज मूवमेंट्स और उसके अलावा इसकी जो स्पीच रहेगी पेशेंट की स्पीच रहेगी इट विल बी लाउड एंड हॉल्टिंग हॉल्टिंग मतलब रुक रुक के बोलना सो दीज आर द साइंस ऑफ साइड एन कोरिया दिस साइंस ऑफ साइड एन कोरिया डेवलप इन द लेटर सीजेस आफ्टर टू टू थ्री मंथ्स ऑफ द प्रोग्रेशन एंड दीज आर मोस्ट कॉमनली सीन इन फीमेल्स एंड ऑल्सो वन थर्ड ऑफ केसेस प्रेजेंट विथ साइड एन कोरिया Even this side and arms chorea is also considered as a confirmatory sign for acute rheumatic fever. You can you are also asked in the MCQs in the pre PG exam that side and arms chorea is seen in one of the following. And if you find the option as acute rheumatic fever, you can just go for it and take it blindly. So this is all about the clinical features of 
एक्यूट्रोमेटिक फीवर नाउ नेक्स्ट वील डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉडिफाइड जोन क्राइटेरिया नाउ मॉडिफाइड जोन क्राइटेरिया क्या कहता है कि इसमें मेनली एक जोन में क्राइटेरिया बनाया था विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ फाइव मेजर पॉइंट और क्राइटेरिया एंड फाइव माइनर क्राइटेरिया मतलब इनमें से अगर मेजर में से कोई भी दो और माइनर में से एक या कोई भी मेजर में से एक और माइनर में से दो प्रेजेंट रहेंगे क्राइटेरिया देन वी कैन कैटेगराइज दैट पेशेंट एज एक्यूट्रोमेटिक फीवर क्या कहा था जोन्स ने कि एनी टू मेजर क्राइटेरिया और एनी वन मेजर क्राइटेरिया प्लस टू माइनर क्राइटेरिया देन वी कैन कैटेगराइज दैट पेशेंट एज एक्यूट्रोमेटिक फीवर अब उसके मेजर क्राइटेरिया में क्या क्या था वही पांच चीजें थी जो अपन ने डिस्कस करी दैट इज कार्डाइटिस आर्थराइटिस सबक्यूटिनस नोड्यूल्स एरिथेमा मार्जिनेटम एंड लास्ट वन वॉज साइड एंड हेम्स कोरिया एंड नेक्स्ट इन द माइनर क्राइटेरिया क्या था इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ फीवर एर्थराइजिया दैट इज पेन इन द ज्वाइंट्स ल्यूकोसाइटोसिस रेज ई एस आर और सी रिएक्टिव प्रोटीन एंड द लास्ट थिंग वॉज प्रीवियस एनी इन्फेक्शन ऑफ Previous any incidents of acute rheumatic fever, so these five are considered as minor criteria. So in dono me se ya to koi bhi do major criteria ya to koi bhi do minor criteria agar present hai, then we consider it as acute rheumatic fever. Iske saath saath it should also be present that the patient is previously infected with a group A streptococcal infection. We can also see antibody titers in his. blood or a positive throat sample is also considered so this is all about modified jones criteria next we'll discuss about the investigation and treatment of acute rheumatic fever so next moving on to the discussion of investigations and treatment regarding acute rheumatic fever so first regarding the investigations The first point in investigation is positive throat swab culture. मतलब क्या होगा उस patient का आप throat swab लोगे या उसका उसका culture करोगे तो then you should find streptococcal colonies in that throat swab culture because the patient who has experienced an infection or a past infection from group A streptococci will surely have a throat infection or the chances of sore throat are also increased next is aso titer that is anti streptolysin o titers matlab jo bhi streptococcal infection hua hai uske against jo bhi antibodies bani hai uska titer bhi increased milega aapko kyun because the patient is attacked by a group a streptococci and to fight against that antigens the body is going to form antibody so aso titers are also going to be Increase next, you will also find out through chest X-ray that you can see cardiomegaly or pulmonary congestion. Chest X-ray के through क्या दिखेगा आपको cardiomegaly या pulmonary congestion. Next, ECG also is also one of the most common investigation regarding any of the cardiovascular disorders. You can see change in the PR interval or you can also see various other. Changes in ECG. Next is echocardiography, which is used to confirm the cardiac enlargement, or you can also say cardio megaly. And the last one is increased ESR, that is erythrocyte sedimentation rate is increased, and also C-reactive proteins are also increased. So erythrocyte sedimentation rate, chest X-ray, echocardiography, ESO titer, and positive throat swab culture are one of the most or most important investigations regarding acute rheumatic fever next we'll discuss about the treatment so regarding the treatment firstly we'll advise the patient to take adequate amount of rest because it will reduce the joint pain and also reduce the cardiac workload once the patient is recovered the esr rate is brought back to normal the patient is now feeling a bit okay then he can come back to his normal routine but the exertion or the strenuous exercise or cardiac workload should be still avoided next the medication which must be given is aspirin so aspirin is an analgesic or an anti inflammatory you can say it is given in children the dosage is 60 mg per kg that is given in six divided doses per day and the adults the dose increases to 100 mg per kg it is given in the 
same manner the aspirin or the anti inflammatory are continued till the esr has fallen the esr erythrocyte sedimentation rate jab tak normal nahi hoga tab tak continue karna hai aspirin in the same way prednisolone is given 1 to 2 mg per kg per day till the esr falls next now this was the primary prevention regarding the acute rheumatic fever the secondary prevention that is in future the patient or the person should not have again the attack of acute rheumatic fever for that will prescribe benzathione penicillin 1.2 million units per month intramuscularly or you can give oral dose of phenoxymethyl penicillin 250 mg 12 hourly so these two options you have regarding the secondary prevention if you find any patient who is allergic to penicillin group of medication then you can prescribe sulfadiazepine or erythromycin now this secondary prevention depends on the patient it can be given till 5 years or up, up to 21 years of age or it can be given up to 10 years depends if the patient is more susceptible then the medication is continued till 10 years if he is living in that area in which he is going to be again attacked by a group a streptococcal infection or any other bacterial infection then the chances of acute rheumatic fever are again increase so regarding we need to see that all the criteria that what is the socio economic status what is the lifestyle of the patient and what is the medical condition and how is going to he recover from or he or she is going to recover from that condition regarding that will decide the dose of secondary prevention now so this was all about acute rheumatic fever i hope you guys got the lecture if you have any doubts or queries regarding this please let me know in the comment section thank you and please don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't uh, forget to hit the bell button so that you can get the notifications of each and every video which we post in coming days thank you